be Tuesday, and hello, H cuties. It is Tuesday in late March 2018, and there's been a lot of chatter this week about college basketball, understandably, what with the Final Four and all, and a lot of people talking about NBA and NHL as the playoff pictures develop, regular seasons winding down. But can you hear the pop of the mitt? The crack of the bat? Spring training ended today, baby. Opening day rosters are set. My Mets are looking mostly healthy. Conforto, I pray for you. Tebow sadly did not make the cut. I'm praying for you too, Timmy. But tonight, perhaps you will break camp with HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I am your host, iPhone in O'Brien, Stone Cold Steve Question, the three hours till midnight cowboy, Scott Rogowski, quizzing your blues away from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Gaspé, Quebec. Feeling like a stranger with all one million plus of you, including Ray Not So Chill, Maya Police, Avery McLean, Emma Schenker, Ava DeLorenzo, Jordan Floro, and Rick Swazel. Most of those people celebrating birthdays today. Happy birthday. Are you joining us for the first time? If so, suit up. Let me tell you how this works. I asked 12 questions. You got 10 seconds to answer each question. You answer them all and you win money. Tonight's prize is 5,000 DJ Carrascos, 5,000 Dylan G's, $5,000, five G's. That's good for 625 pounds of premium Boar's Head Oven Gold Roasted Turkey Breast. Enough deli meat for a year's worth of panini. Gobble, gobble. You guys know I can see you, right? I mean to tell you this. You know, when you open HQ, the two-way camera is activated. I see you there, Caroline, at the Outback with your gal pals, mouth full of bloomin' onion. I see you, Daniel, in your flannel, sipping on a bubble tea. What is that? Taro? Good choice. And I see that all of you are ready to quiz with me and get some money. You know it's gonna get stranger, so let's get on with the show. Let's go to Cumero, numero uno with one point, almost one million people. Street art that involves spraying paint on walls is known as what? Peter Griffin, giraffe or graffiti? 1,090,000 got in under the gun for Q1. Now, this word comes from the Italian word for scratched. Your grandpa calls it vandalism. Banksy calls it street art. We've all either seen it or done it. Graffiti. Graffiti is your answer at Q1. Mamma mia, grazie al cazzo. 1,044,368. Complimenti, ah? Eh? Andiamo alla seconda domanda. That's cute too. In book publishing, a novel with a soft cover is typically called what? Paperback, pillow, or wimpy? Soft cover. Charmin soft. These soft cover editions usually are printed after successful print runs of the original hard copy. Can somebody say 50 shades of paperback? Paperback writer, paperback writer. 1,028,661 are on track to get that paper tonight. But before we get to Q3, I want to remind you about manana. Tomorrow night will be yet another blockbuster night at HQ. That's right. I mean blockbuster, the biggest prize we have ever given out, 250000 Dollars. Yes, a quarter of a million big ones, smackaroos presented by Ready Player One. Trust me, you'll want to be ready for that one, player. The prize awaits tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Let's get back to tonight, Q3. In arithmetic, how is a number squared? Added to its reciprocal, multiplied by itself, or divided by antecedent? My mathematical mind can see the breaks. Can you see the answer? Squaring is when a number is multiplied by itself. Like 500 squared is, well, that's 250,000. The amount of money we're giving out tomorrow night, holy free holies, and 950,883 are adding another question to their tally tonight. The rest of you, it's back to square one. We got Q4, a flight recorder known as the airplane black box is typically what color? Green, black, or orange? If the only thing that remains after a plane crash is the black box, well, why not make the whole plane out of the black box? I mean, come on. 
Very hacky. Don't repeat that. Even though they are commonly referred to as the airplane's black box, they are not permitted to be black, but rather bright orange. Yes, orange, you glad I said orange? 500, 5,095 of you are. They're easier to find that way if they're bright orange. But we have May Day for over 400,000. SOS, you're out of here. Crash landing, come back tomorrow. Q5, which of these US national parks is home to a super volcano? Yosemite, Zion, or Yellowstone? Two of the three of these have not been to the answer, but that doesn't give you any hints because you don't know my life. Super volcanoes produce super eruptions, like the volcanic field in the northwest corner of Wyoming called the Yellowstone Caldera. Yes, in Yellowstone National Park, the one that I have not been to. Never been there. Looks nice on the internet. 333,628 are looking nice tonight. Scientists suspect that supervolcanoes erupt every 100,000 years. So we should be good, I hope. Q6, lava flowing on here. Hustle and flow. The wigs worn by barristers in English courts are usually made with which kind of hair? Equine, synthetic, or hominine? 333,628 remaining. Do you know your English barrister hairs. Hominine? It's a fancy term for a human, reserved for Raquel Welch. English barrister wigs are usually made from horse hair, which is equine. Yes, equine means horse. 241,086. Getting this right. These wigs, by the way, very expensive. Cost hundreds of British pounds. 241 are flipping their wigs, wigging out. Next stop, Knoxville World's Fair and its fabulous sun sphere. You mean wig sphere? Q7, in AOL Instant Messenger, what default sound played when friends appeared online? Door opening, car horn, or bicycle bell? Now you gentlemen gonna buy wigs, or ain't you? ASL, wanna cyber? You've got mail. You've got friends. And when your friends appeared, America Online, in your buddy list, they were accompanied by an opening door. Ah, that takes me back. And when they left, the door closed. Don't let it hit you on the way out, 142,737. Opening a door to Q8. By the way, AIM AIM closed its doors for good in December of last year. Doesn't exist anymore, sorry. Q8, which of these Broadway productions ran for the most shows? Cats, Les Miserables, or Chicago? Now the reigning champion is the Phantom of the Opera, which ran for 11,949 performances. But of these options, the 1996 revival of Bob Fosse's musical about two murderous rows, murderous row showgirls, has more shows under its fedora than Cats or Les Mis at 8,270. Chicago, Chicago, that title in town is your answer, and savagery is what we have here at Q8, folks. A savage question, our first of the night, 16,959 got that razzle dazzle doing the cell block tango. But the rest of you get in the chair tonight. Q9 in cooking, what do chefs set up before they make a meal? Mise en chine, mise en scène, or mise en place? Yes, the mise, the mise, as chefs in the know call it. It's a setting up of all the necessary ingredients that you're gonna need for your meal. Chopped, diced, arranged in cute little bowls and ready to go. But which of these mise is the mise? Mise en place. En place, en garde, 11,425. You know my steez, and you know your mees. You're chopping, dicing, and slicing to Q10 tonight. A famous 1945 short story is written from the point of view of which novel's protagonist? The Grapes of Wrath, Catch-22, or The Catcher in the Rye? 11,425 remaining at question 10. That's a lot of you. We could be losing some of you here. I think we might lose some of you here. Before writing the full-length novel based on this character, the author wrote a short story from the point of view of a boarding school dropout called I'm Crazy, published in Collier's in 1945 after the author was released from a mental hospital. That author was J.D. Salinger. The character was Holden Caulfield, and the novel is Catcher and the Rye. And yes, we have lost 5,000 of you. We have no bananas, but 6,492 are moving on to the penultimate question. The rest of you, a bunch of phonies. 
Q11, according to ancient lore, what if obtained would bring good luck to wedding guests? Something blue, pieces of the wedding gown, or a first slice of cake? Ancient lore. How far back do you go? This goes back past the 80s and 70s. We're talking ancient. Before throwing the bouquet became a thing, wedding guests would try to rip a little piece of fabric from the bride's dress, hoping the luckiness and love would transfer to them. Catching bouquet seems a lot less intrusive by comparison, but a savage question at Q11 is what we're walking down the aisle with tonight. Yes, sir, Rihanna. 1,689 surviving this one, saying yes to the dress, getting ready in the bridal suite for Q12. This is it, folks, the final question. It all boils down to this for the 1,689 left tonight, five thousand dollars on the line are you gonna say i do to that cash q12 which of these celebrities owns an island near the location of the doomed fire festival ja rule steve martin or tyler perry oh if you don't know about the fire festival <laughs> google it i am waiting for the horror movie to come out based on the fire festival i'll give you a hint it's gonna feature cheese sandwiches and wet mattresses Ugh. Now, this was a disaster last year. A lot of hipsters got swindled, and we're kind of happy about it. ...own an island, and he claims it wasn't a scam. It was not his fault. Okay. Steve Martin has many strengths, including being a comedian, actor, a writer, a banjoleer, an art snob. But owning an island isn't one of them. If you want to visit White Bay Key in Eximal... Bahamas, well, you better first check with the owner, Tyler Perry. That is your answer, and 637 are our winners, baby! Six hundred and thirty-seven of you are Tyler Perry's HQ's winners for the night. Tying with on with Tyler, splitting five thousand dollars. That breaks down to seven eighty-five a person. That's probably good enough to rent a Medea movie, right? Good on you, Dusk Shade. Like your uh, cartoon avatar there, Libtech Zero, Pretty Flower, M Salmon's Vroom Vroom, Trevor Weather is a dog. And a few more of you there, including Ben Stiller from Dodgeball. I like it. I don't like it. I love it. That's our game tonight, folks. Thank you for playing. I hope you had fun, right? I did. You want to come back tomorrow? 3 p.m. Eastern time, but also 9 p.m. Eastern time for the biggest prize ever, $250,000. And if you want to get extra lives, yeah, yeah, you want to get extra lives because that'll help keeping the game. Refer your friends. Invite everyone. Tell the world about it. Use your code. They sign up. You get an extra life. If you get a question wrong, you stay in the game. That's all for tonight. Gear up for tomorrow, baby. Get ready. 250. Until then, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off saying, I don't use the word hero very often, but you are the greatest hero in American history. Good night. <laughs>